Alright, so the next step that I did, um, wipe the guard down, put some masking tape where I know the cutout will be, and then just put a bit up there for the bracket. Now I might put a bit more tape just here to protect any of this stuff, but yeah, just masking tape. Um, over here, we've got the template, and I just used a um, Stanley knife blade, and this is for the wheel arch here. Now, it might be a bit different because I've got flares, but this is the the join for the, or well, not the join, sorry, the bottom, the guard line, sorry, here, and then the little cutout for the. So I've cut this out. Right, so I put the template on. Um, I had to make a small adjustment, you can see. And then put the text mark. So I'll start to take apart the inner guard um, so I can make sure it's all clear behind it. And then I'll drill a couple of holes and then get the nibbler going through here. Oh, speaking of nibbler, let's go from Bunnings. Should work a treat. Howdy, back again. Um, so another day. Uh, it got dark really quickly yesterday, so I thought I'd leave it for the next day. Um, so we're taking it part of the inner guard now. And there's an assortment of really shitty clips. I hate these clips. These ones. Yeah. It always strips out the top there. Um, so what I do, I come in here with a nice sharp flat blade. And Phillips head. Now if they don't work, I just use a side cutters and then just slide them in and just leave them out they still work again after so um, there's an assortment of them under this guard um, so if I count one two three four five six at least six of them holding in this inner guard now you could you could jack this car up or this vehicle up and take this wheel off but this is lifted I've got plenty of room under here um, this is what you see under there. It's a pissy little intake that they have standard. And then I just wanted to clear it all up just to make sure that just below the cutout hole that I'm not going to hit anything and it's all clear. So next step, cutting out. So cutout's done. Uh, extremely nerve wracking. Um, so I reckon I'll cut it within the size that I need. Start off the hole with a leave 13 mil drill bit. Then forced the um, oh, could have had a bigger drill bit, but 13 was a sharp one. Forced the nibbler bit into the hole. 15 would have probably been more ideal. Um, and then cuts like butter. Does it easy, so yeah. Took about three minutes. All right, moving on. Okay, so we've um, nibbled out the hole, pinch weld temporarily just to test fit. I've trimmed that bracket there, and then that bracket down there because it was touching that one. And I'm going to test fit again. Um, I'm going to Sikaflex this on when I'm ready and that will seal the paint. Some people use paint but let's face it, you paint that on with a little brush that will scratch off straight away. Sikaflex however will keep that bare steel protected. <laughs> 